The diesel engines can reach 300,000 km or even 400,000 km without major issues. But sadly, not always. So they can have some very interesting problems which can occur much earlier. First thing first, all the diesel engines have the same bad oil scraper ring design like some of the already mentioned petrol engines. This means that oil consumption can be occasionally an issue in all the diesel engines. However, I have to add that it's still not common and it's also not that common as in the already mentioned three petrol engines. Well, except maybe the most powerful 2 liter TDI, which is for some reason more prone to oil consumption. There are numerous cases of excessive oil consumption in these engines, rarely even at around 100,000 km, but more often at or after 200,000 km. For example, here you can see a piston with clogged oil scraper ring from a 2 liter TDI, which had 230,000 km. In this case, the oil consumption was 1 liter every 1,000 km. But again, I'm not saying that all of these engines do have issues with this. They are just simply more vulnerable to clogged oil scraper rings, causing oil consumption. Now, let's move on to the cooling system. All of these engines have a more complex cooling system with a more complex coolant circuit, with additional electric coolant pumps, plus the main water pump is switchable. Even bleeding this system is not that easy, since you need a vacuum pump and also a computer to bleed it properly. But the two main issues of this cooling system are related to the coolant itself and to the main water pump. First, the water pump. This main water pump is a switchable water pump, so there is a cover on it which can slide up or down and this way the water pump can be basically turned off or on. The problem is that the cover can get stuck in closed position. In this case, it's not gonna help to circulate the coolant and the engine is gonna overheat. A properly overheated engine is gonna get damaged, so keep this in mind. Next, there is the coolant. Before buying, it's very important to also check the coolant. It has to be clean and it needs to have this pinkish violet color. If the coolant is darker like this and if it has strange deposits and particles in it, then you got an issue with, let's call it, coolant degradation. The degraded coolant deposits clog up the heater core and also parts of the coolant system. This can even cause usually slight issues with overheating. So if the coolant looks like this, or if it has deposits and particles in it, then run away from the car. All of these engines are equipped with a timing belt. The belt itself can withstand a lot, but on some of these engines the belt tensioner can fail prematurely, even before 150,000 km. If the belt tensioner fails, then the belt gets damaged and the jumps, which will destroy the engine. So definitely check for strange hissing, chirping or squeaking noises from the timing belt pulley after cold start. These noises are caused by the failing tensioner pulley. However, the water pump can make these noises as well, since it can fail prematurely too. Lastly, there are the classic diesel engine issues. So, be ready that the injectors can be faulty after 200,000 km, even though I have to add that they are more reliable than in the predecessor. The high pressure fuel pump can fail in high mileage cars, even though I have to add that it's more reliable than in the predecessor. Older or high mileage cars equipped with the AdBlue emission system can have some issues with it, but I'm not going deeper into this. And lastly, the water pump can leak coolant sometimes before 200,000 km. And check for an oil leak from the front crankshaft seal on the timing belt side, since there are cases of leaks from this seal. All of these engines are equipped with a timing belt, which can withstand even a bit more than 200,000 km. But you should not risk it, and it's definitely good to replace it before 200,000 km. In other words, the most optimal timing belt change interval is between 150,000 km and 190,000 km, or 6 years. And if you want to be very thorough, then it's definitely good to check the timing belt visually at 120,000 km, or after buying. Plus obviously, check for strange noises from the timing belt tensioner pulley. Also keep in mind that all the diesel engines have the oil pump driven by a rubber belt. This belt can withstand a lot, but not an eternity, 
so I would highly recommend to replace it together with the timing belt. It's important to replace this belt not only because eventually it can simply break and you lose oil pressure, but also because over time it can slowly disintegrate and the belt particles clog up the oil strainer, which is gonna cause lower oil pressure, which is not good. For more information about this car visit my website or check out the complete used car review video I did about it.